はい、皆さんこんにちは、レナです。Hi, my name is Chris. I'm from Montreal, Canada. And Chris is going to join us today to try some sushi. We are here at a really nice Like local sushi restaurant. You said you love sushi, right? I do. Sushi is my favorite Japanese food, even from when I was a, a little kid growing up in Canada. So, first of all, we got some tea in these gigantic mugs. I don't know if you come by with tea. <laughs> come by with tea. Come by.、Uh, you've been here for three years, so you know how to do like table manners and stuff. Yes. Was it difficult in the beginning? Well, because I lived in Thailand before I moved to Japan,、mm -hmm. there are some things that are universal, like the chopsticks in your rice. That's,、oh, okay. that's also something that you would do there.、Uh, like elbows on the table as well. But yet,、yeah, other nuanced things I'm sure I still do wrong because <laughs> no one is going to go out of their way to be like, you're rude, <laughs> you know? Japanese yeah, people、true. are too nice to do that.、Yes. Maybe you'll catch me doing something very wrong, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can tell us in the comments. So, I lived in Thailand for two years, and I was a teacher there. And then I was a teacher here for three years, and now I'm moving to Taiwan. And I just love living in Asia. Like, I just love the different cultures, I love the food, and the adventures are, are fun. Yeah, we're going to be moving soon. So I'm sad. I'm gonna miss sushi a lot. <laughs> wow! Arigatou gozaimashita. Looks beautiful. So I'm sure these ones are cucumber. Yes. Okay. And then I think these ones are tuna. Very good. Okay. You got your basics down. Yes. Ooh, eel, which is not very common in Canada. We don't really have eel sushi, but I love eel. This one is salmon. Very good. And then this one is also tuna? Yes. Okay. The rest, I don't know. I've eaten them a lot, but I don't know what they are. You know what you say before eating in Japanese? I do. And I love saying it now before every meal because. They have something similar in Canada, but it's more if you're religious. Like,、ah, okay. there's one like, good God, good food, let's eat.、Okay. Yeah, but this one is. Itadakimasu. Hi, itadakimasu.、Uh, now we need some soy sauce. Yes. Oh, it's、here. so cute in the little.、Bit. Yeah, right. And now with sushi, you always have the choice to eat with chopsticks or with your hands. Chopsticks. In Canada, a lot of people are worried about getting. Little like shards of wood、oh, really? in their mouth,、oh. so they always like、uh, rub them together. But I heard that you shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, you shouldn't do that because it, I think it's kind of rude to the people in the restaurant because you're kind of implying that they buy cheap chopsticks.、Ah, <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's something I learned. Where do、okay. you want to start? Is there a way that we should start? No, not really. Ah, okay. Well, I'm gonna try the tuna. Okay, tuna. I will, I will follow you.、Mm. There was another question I had about dipping. With these ones, I heard that you shouldn't dip the rice in. But this one, you don't have a choice. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> so it doesn't matter、yes. which way I do it. Oh, that was good. I really like the balance of fish and rice. Cucumber. Cucumber.、Mm. Some people really don't like wasabi. <laughs> yeah, how about you? I, I like wasabi, but in a small amount. Now that it's egg, I also have to do it upside down. Yes, and that's why it's usually easier if you eat it by hand.、Um, but yeah, perfect. Mm. I love the egg. It's super fluffy, but a little bit sweet, right?、Mm. And egg is also something that if you went to a sushi restaurant in Canada, it wouldn't be common. You might find it,、mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be like on the regular menu of every sushi restaurant you went to.、Mm. Mm. Vegan sushi and stuff outside、mm. of Japan now with just vegetables and stuff. 
and cream cheese. There is a lot of cream cheese oh, going on. Oh, California, <laughs> the famous California roll. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But I do feel that it's nice for people to explore what what you can put because it's a great vehicle, right? It's just rice and yeah. nori and yeah. then anything that you can think of, you can put. Yeah, and, and rice goes so well with anything, really. I believe. Um, then let's do a little bit more of a challenge and try this Ooh, one. This okay. is the... Um, Yes. I like how it's almost clear. Mm -hmm. mm. The texture is interesting. I feel like some people might not like the texture yeah. because it's a bit slimier. Mm -hmm. But again, the little hint of wasabi is nice. There's not too much flavor to it though. There's a lot of food in Japan that's just about the texture, I feel like. One thing I like that's really silky is like a nice udon. Udon dish. Yeah. Yeah. With this fat, silky noodles. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Which I had never had before I came to Do Thailand. you know why there is uh, this ginger here with sushi? <gasps> I didn't know there was a reason. I just thought it was a palate like, cleanser. Like, yes, in between, exactly. Right? It's a palate cleanser. How often would you have, like, now we've had two, <laughs> four, but that's a real question that I wonder. Maybe you can tell us as well. Um, yeah. How do you have one after every piece? That's another thing that I feel people in Canada might really dislike. They use ginger in like soap and detergents and, and they cleaning, cleaning products. So people usually associate ginger, coriander also mm -hmm. with like that negative, like, oh, it's not meant to be eaten. Okay. I'll go with something familiar and say shrimp. Okay. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yep, that's what happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's let's try to put it back in its form. Still tasted good, right? <laughs> we did get a soup, by the way. Ooh. Super nice red miso with clams. clams. And I mean, because it's Nagoya, it has to be red miso, right? <laughs> this is something that I learned when I first got here, that Nagoya has their own special dark miso. And apparently, you can't be a true Nagoyan until you <laughs> like the taste <laughs> of the red so miso. So true, so true. I tried it and I was like, wow, it's really earthy. It's really like, has a deep flavor. It was still new to me because I just thought there was white meat. I feel like if you were gonna send people back home like a care package, red miso would be great because they would say, oh, it's miso, but I've never seen this, I've never heard of it. Yep. Let's okay. go with this one. Okay. But this one is white and pink. Yeah, I mean, they're all kind of white and pink. <laughs> Please don't break. <laughs> oh. That was a lot of wasabi. That was too much wasabi. Mine did not have that much wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've loved about living in Japan is that you can slurp your food. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So you've embraced the slurping. Yes. Oh, palate cleanser? Yeah, sure. Mm. That's a lot of ginger. Mm. But it's so light and so fresh. It tastes mm. so good. I'd like to try this one. Mm. I'm not sure what it is, but it has also a little bit of ginger, I think, maybe? Yeah, cause it doesn't look like wasabi because it's yellow. Yeah, right? Maybe smell it. I just smell the fish. Mm. No, I really nice with the ginger. I really like the texture of that one because when you bite, it breaks up in like exactly a nice consistency. Mm. Like salmon, for example, it's a little bit softer. I wonder if that's like an ocean fish or like a river. I'm assuming that most of the fish used for sushi, most of the time is probably ocean fish. Hmm. Do you have a favorite kind of sushi? Yes, but I, mm -hmm. I'd probably say the eel. Mm -hmm. Just because it doesn't need anything else on it, you don't need 
wasabi, you don't need, so in my personal opinion, it mm -hmm. doesn't need anything else because it already has the beautiful sauce the on nice top. nice sauce, yes. Mm. And the egg. <laughs> the egg is really egg is good. good right? I'm, my favorite is uh, cucumber. Mm -hmm. I'm very weird that way. <laughs> so is, this is octopus? Yes. This is also something that's very popular with the Japanese people because of the texture. Yeah. Bouncy. Bouncy is a good word. <laughs> Bouncy. I feel like salmon is the universal sushi. It's the one that everybody knows and everybody likes. Yep. So soft, melts in your mouth. Really nice, really nice on the rice. Did you have an opportunity to learn some Japanese? The thing is, because I teach, my company really doesn't want us to speak at all, ever. I never wanted to learn too much, also because I don't want to know what my students are saying about me. <laughs> okay, you're protecting yourself. Yeah, if I'm going out, with my partner or uh, some friends. I'll try, but I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> I can say itadakimasu. Very good, mm -hmm. that's important. Very nice. Arigato. Yes. That's mm -hmm. kind of, if you have those down and... Just be polite, exactly. it'll, get you, it'll get you a lot of places. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so true. Mm -hmm. This one has an interesting texture too. You know, it kind of looks like you know the I like your thumbprint, like how it's. Oh, mm -hmm. mine looks different. It has like silver. Um, oh, skin. I Interesting. Guess. Maybe yours is more the edge, mm -hmm. like the outside piece. Oh, this is also very nice. Mm. Oh, another question I have maybe for your uh -huh. your viewers is, do you like to eat your sushi in a particular order? Like today, we just decided. Oh, we'll right. pick a little bit. She'll pick a little bit. And we just, we've been going through the plate, but maybe because they eat so much sushi, you know, in their life that they're like, I know which order I like because of the texture, mixing the textures maybe. and stuff. So please tell us if there's a way that you prefer to eat it or if there's a right way. <laughs> and we just have no idea what we're doing. Have you tried different, like, there's fatty tuna and then there's leaner tuna and everything? If I've tried it, I didn't know. <laughs> And I do enjoy how in Japan, like it's seasonal things. Like now we're gonna get the cold ramen is gonna come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they're gonna change every single item in the, in the convenience store fridge. Last but not least, yay! <laughs> mm. That was very good. Yeah, everything you'd hope for and more. This miso soup is really good. Mm. Agreed. Very nice. And they put a lot of clams, which is nice. I really like how the portions are just right. Mm -hmm. Like, especially in North America now, like everything just feels overdone. Too big. Needs to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And sizes and everything. <laughs> but it, because they want to show off. So, what's your favorite fruit? Fruit. Ooh, strawberry. Ooh, Japanese strawberries are really good. They are good. amazing, right? <laughs> My favorite fruit is probably watermelon. Ooh, interesting choice. Yes. And cherries. I, I'm a big fan of cherries. Oh. Any like tropical fruit, even Have pineapple. you tried Japanese cherries, sakurambo? The light, yeah, the light pink ones. I'm too scared to try them because I don't want to <laughs> not. I don't want to. I don't want to not like them. <laughs> Because for They're me, very it's, different. Yeah, but for me, it's like a dark cherry like yeah. flavor. Yeah, I would feel bad if I didn't like. I them. like both apple and pineapple. Pineapple first. Fresh and sweet, everything yeah, right? you want from a fruit. Fruit in general here in Japan is always very high quality, right? This was great. Thank what do you, you so say much. at the end of a meal in Japanese? Oh, you know? <laughs> I know this. Gochisousama. Very good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mina-san, de shita. Thank you. Oh man, this was great. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this lunch date. <laughs> I feel like our viewers learn a lot about you and about 
what foreigners think about sushi. Minasan ga ano kono doga ga tanoshikatta nara zehi iine botan oshite kudasai ne. Channel toroku mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Dewa mata tsugi no doga demo aimashou ne. Bye bye. Bye.